What's up guys? So before I get this going, shout out to Edmodo24 for loaning me this card so I can bring you guys this review. So here we go. Legend Herman Moore 90 overall deep threat style. 6'4, 88 speed, 92 catch, 88 release, 92 jump, 89 catch and traffic, 92 spectacular, 85 elusiveness, and 90 route running. Now his run up to catch stats are not that great as you see right here, 83 spin, 84 juke. Uh, 64 trucks so really not effective after the catch but you know what that's fine that's not what he's for especially when you look at those catching stats but what's kind of surprising to me was he only has 88 speed but once in a while he would actually burn the corners deep and there were some times when you know he would burn the corner but I just didn't lob it you know I threw it to uh, towards the sideline to test out his catching in traffic so I had you know potentially um, you know more catches that could have been caught like this but I don't know man I'm just very surprised that he got that open that you know that many times with only 88 speed but of course I'm not trying to say he's uncatchable you see right here 88 speed can definitely be caught from behind now I was only able to trigger the spectacular catch twice that was about it I guess it's not a bad thing because it would be you know kind of cheesy if you were able to pull up the spectacular catch you know over and over again but anyways as far as the route running this I wanted to make this his best thing but there was technically something that he did do just a teeny tiny bit better but believe me route running was on point man making some nice cuts getting nice separation whether it was zone or man to man so if you're one of those guys who loves to put his receivers you know on, on a specific route and get yards that way Herman Moore is your guy his release was very similar not as good as his route running of course but very very effective and you know it got to the point where if I had him like on a slant or an out route or whatever and I saw my opponent was pressing I would immediately put him on a um, on a fade and watch you know stuff like this happen so if you see your opponent is pressing a man to man and you got Herman Moore on the outside put him on a, on a, uh, a fade and watch him do work and as far as run blocking if he was going up against a corner he would be, uh, do good like you see right there but linebackers not so much so definitely keep that in mind now as far as catching in traffic on the outside, you know, when I tried to throw towards the sideline, the one-on-one -on -one battles, kind of surprised how often he did not catch the ball, you know, not as effective as I was, as I was hoping, but I guess that makes sense, you know, he, he's, he is only just a 90 overall, not like a 99 boss car, so I can't expect that much, but not seeing he was terrible, but he just was not as good as I was expecting him to be. And the same thing with the deep ball, you know, it was not phenomenal, it was not, you know, uh, dominant, it was just, you know, I would say above average, you know, B, B plus somewhere around the area. I thought this was going to be his best thing, you know, going into the review, very surprised that it wasn't, but again, I guess that's kind of a good thing because it would be very cheesy if we had a receiver this early in the game be dominant with the deep throw. So, like I said, when it came to the deep throw with more, just uh, above average. As far as a bad place, of course he had his fair share. Like I said, he was not catching everything. The aggressive catch is definitely toned down. You see right here in the far left, he beats the press, and then at the last second, the corner knocks the ball out. So, even though he's one of the highest rated receivers in the game, that does not make him a 99 boss card with like 100 stats up and down the card. You know, he still has catch ratings that are still in the 80s. So, you can't really expect him to just be catching everything left and right and just making corners look ridiculous. But even though he was not dominant you know all over the field there is one specific area on the field where he did shine very very bright and that spot is throwing across the middle you see right here throwing across the middle was so effective with him because he is so tall and i was doing this so many times man my opponents were trying to use it after a while with anthony barr and such you see right here's a good example but if you throw a high pass it's just so hard to defend and he is such a, you know he's really good at catching the ball right here look at this triple team because he, my opponents already knew what was coming. Here's another one. He's trying to use it, but he's just so tall. So this is where I believe of all the things I tested, this is where he shined the brightest. So guys, if you pick him up, use him however you want to. But I feel throwing across the middle is the best way to use him to get the most out of him. So all in all, guys, as you can see, he was not a dominant force, you know, an unstoppable beast. But he shined very bright in certain areas. Like I said, very surprised how often he beat corners deep and so effective across the middle but make sure you throw the ball high so it's not picked off but anyways guys that's gonna wrap this up whether or not he's worth 130,000 is really up to you if you've got coins like that just you know saved up left and right go for it I say I mean if you got the coins you know what the hell but if you're saving up coins I say go with Mike Evans you see right here they, they got the same style and can be used pretty much the exact same way but anyways guys my next review if you saw my previous video is gonna be a dual review my very first one trying something new so hopefully that goes well but anyways guys don't forget to like comment subscribe if you liked what you saw and i will see you boys for the next review peace